Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Hardcore Recap. Uh, today we'll be recapping all eight characters and what they did this week, so let's get right started uh, with Danos. So, this week on Danos, we went straight down south to the two uh, farms down there, and did a little questing back and forth. Got to level uh, eight or seven pretty quickly there. Uh, then we head back to Goldshire without going in the cave. We wanted to save that for later. Didn't feel confident going in there at level seven on a warrior. So we went back to Goldshire, picked up a quest that sent us to Stormwind. So I thought this was a great time to head there and do a few quests in there, simple just escort quests or, or delivery quests. Picked up first aid, mining, and also engineering. So got all the professions sorted away. And then we headed out into the back into the world, did a little mining, grinded on some Defias mobs up to level 8, then went and did a little training. Felt confident at that point to go into the mine and it was really easy there. Uh, took on multiple mobs at a time sometimes and took down Gold Tooth really with very little issue. And so that went really nicely there. Uh, almost died to some boars on the way back, but not really. Was any in danger there? Killed some murlocs, killed some wolves on our way east, East Vale Logging Camp, hit level 9 as well, and decided to take on Princess. Managed to kill her, but needed to run for my life from her entourage. After that, we simply headed back to East Vale and then Hearth after handing in a couple quests, and that was it for Danos that week. In between episodes on Danos, I got my engineer up to level 51 through sending copper to him and using copper that was already on hand and uh, got my mining to 54 through smelting. So now Padme. Uh, Padme had a really easy week. Uh, we picked up mining right away uh, and then quickly got to level 7 as well on this character doing a couple easy quests and killing stuff. Bought a new weapon early on and then picked up blacksmithing. Uh, did a little mining and did a little blacksmithing uh, right away, right then and there. Uh, then I headed into the Wendigo cave uh, and went into the cave and it was a little dangerous, but then I hearthed out no problem. Uh, we got past Old Ice Spear to pick up uh, his, this guy's dried meats, went and handed that in. Then we headed over to Brunal Village. A uh, couple quests picked up there and done. Uh, and killed a few beasts for that quest. Headed into Frost Main Hole, I decided I wanted to test my luck in this cave. Managed to have no issues in the cave, really. Uh, there was another group there that was clearing some mobs too, but it was still no problem. Went back to Brunal, picked up a couple quests, had to run all the way back to Kiranos because my hearth was on cooldown from earlier. Did a little extra profession work in the episode, uh, and that was that for Padme. We also, uh, on Padme, did a little stuff in between episodes, actually quite a lot of work. Did a lot of blacksmith work, got our blacksmith up to 64. Uh, did a lot of um, getting gear for our warrior and this character, and weapons for other characters as well, but went really well on Padme. Got ourselves some green pants and uh, sent a weapon to my rogue and that kind of stuff. So great, good, good, good progress on Padme. Florana was a rough week. We It was the shortest episode of the week, but uh, also made the least progress by a lot. Um, picked up cooking right away, picked up herbling right away, then had to uh, run westward towards D Darnassus to pick up skinning here, which took a lot, lot of time. Then we nearly died to this level eight owl that I accidentally pulled thinking it was a level six owl. Uh, and so that was a real dangerous situation that I very nearly just died. Uh, so that gave me a little uh, shock, but uh, then we went on killing things. But as you can see here, uh, killing things on a hunter in, in Teldrassil was really tough. A lot of the mobs I had to kill this time were really fast and got on me really quickly. We got to level 7 at a decent pace though, I did a little cooking uh, with the stuff that we had sent from our other characters. And then as we were questing throughout the world, we just got dragged along doing a lot of herbalism a lot of the time, which was good. We went to Starbreeze Village, did a couple quests there, although I had forgotten to pick up a quest for Starbreeze Village earlier, so didn't get to do one of the quests here that I should have done. Managed to kill this rare though without taking any damage, which felt pretty good, he was pretty slow. And he dropped us some nice leather pants, so that was a nice, nice little pickup there. Uh, then we filled up a vial in a moon well and did some other quests, did some other more herbing. Her tell the is just full of herbs. Uh, hanging in a couple more quests. And, but like, at this point we were re re reaching an hour in the episode, hitting level 8 right there. And I just decided, you know, I'm gonna train and I'm gonna end the episode because we weren't even close to level 9 and it was already an hour into the episode. So, it was a pretty weak, weak, weak 
week for <laughs> for uh, uh, Florana, and uh, but we'll try and make it up next time. Uh, in the interim, between episodes, I was able to send cooking materials to Florana to up her cooking, and of course the herbalism did not increase in between, stayed at level 19. Um, and then her gear, really nothing to speak of, nothing interesting going on there, didn't send her any other weapons or any other gear. Uh, but yeah, cooking pretty high. Uh, now we have Hamical, our mage. Uh, Hamical had a great week and was really useful to level up and get going. We started off by making sure we had our level 6 training, which we didn't, so we got those important skills trained right away. We went and got mining, because this person's going to be our tailor and be just mining to get additional uh, stuff. We got level 7 really quick, same spot we did on Padme, uh, and then we went to the Wendigo Cave, and then we had a technical error there, uh, which is a little unfortunate. Managed to polymorph uh, old Ice Beard to get past him, so we didn't have to wait too long for him. Then, of course, we did the same thing on Paz Padme. We went to Brunal Village. We, uh, uh, well, actually, we nearly died here, actually, is kind of how that happened. We, if we hadn't hit that little ledge there, we would have died. Uh, but then, yes, we stopped in Brunal Village, same thing as Padme. Killed a bunch of beasts, uh, which went just fine. Used some new spells. Went into the cave. It's a little sketchy. The ranged mobs here caused me to take a little extra damage during fights, but didn't have any issues there. So I went back to Brunel Village, got a couple more quests, and then hurt out back to Karanos. Uh, then I hit level 9 by talking to a barrel, and uh, then I decided to head up to Ironforge because I need to t train tailoring in Ironforge. Couldn't do it in Karanos, so I did that. Uh, had a bunch of linen sent over from other characters as well, so got a whole bunch of bolts of linen cloth made up, and then logged out. In the interim between episodes, I was able to get a lot of linen, and get my tailoring up to level 52, and was able to start making bags for some characters. So, the next episodes that you'll see on some of the characters uh, are going to be with new bags, and as I get more linen from those characters, I'll be just making sure all my characters have bags. I was able to make some green items of those linen robes. Uh, so was able to send those to other characters and stuff and gets uh, get those kind of sorted and get some disenchanting stuff going on So Hamical had a great off off-screen week So our rogue uh, Distana Distiana uh, Sent a great copper dagger super high DPS really excited about it And I you know got my professions ready to go got leather working got skinning was really excited about how much damage my dagger was gonna do and uh, then we uh, promptly died. <laughs> Our first death of the series uh, to a, just a, a higher level board that I probably should have been fighting, uh, but totally lost focus and just thought I was fine. So I had to go ahead and delete that character right away. So we, in the episode, it happened pretty much right away in the episode. So we rolled up a new rogue and uh, got started. Did get a bag, which is excellent. Uh, that's a nice little consolation prize, but we just got them back to where we started essentially. So that was pretty much a null episode. Uh, for the rogue there and obviously have nothing really to report other than really disappointing week for the rogue uh, There so a little unfortunate, but that's okay um, Yeah, so we we didn't obviously have any gear upgrades I'll probably make another dagger in the interim here to send to this character Obviously our professions are level one really not much to report here on this character so how our priest had a pretty boring week to be honest with you. Their professions, I'm kind of like not really caring about this precarious profession very much. Probably make them a minor engineer eventually, but I got some mining just to boost my my copper. Uh, did the Wendigo quest, got to level eight, you know, that kind of stuff. Snuck past old Ice Beard again, you know. I, I was kind of bored of this kind of little zone uh, doing the same thing over and over again. There really isn't any other, any other way to really do it. So, but that's okay. We went to Brunel Village, got the quest, killed the beasts, you know, the drill at this point, uh, but didn't really run into any issues. As a priest, I had to drink a lot with, before I get my wands, because when you get wands with a priest, it's no problem, but after we finished all the quest there, we hearthed back uh, to Thunder Brew Distillery and then logged out. In between episodes, uh, really didn't do anything, got engineering, but uh, yeah, didn't have any extra gear upgrades other than the priest robe that you get from the quest, but that was about it. For Oakshiz here, um, had a much better week than the Hunter in Teldrassil. Uh, we trained level 6 uh, Druid skills right away. We got Thorns, which is really helpful while leveling. Luckily, the Herbalist and Alchemy Trainer right here in Dalinar. So it was no issues at all. Didn't take any extra time. Got to level 7 really quick and felt really good about how that was going. Just did a little Alchemy to give myself a little bonus of health potion and stuff like that. 
got cooking here just briefly just to get this quest and quickly hand it in because I figured that little bonus of silver to train the cooking plus the the materials was worth the XP and it actually turned out to be it was only cost me five copper in the end after selling everything that I got from that quest and the quest reward itself did a ton of herbing uh, and I did switch things up a bit with this character I did the, these couple quests here by the lake to uh, first uh, which I didn't do on my hunter so it was a little different there and we got to level eight that way went back to Dalinar to train entangling roots which is really important and buffed our healing spells up a little bit uh, then we went to Starbreeze Village uh, where we kind of went first uh, at, on the hunter did a couple quests there then hearth back to Dalinar then I was feeling a little spicy so I went to Fell Rock which was potentially a bad idea as I had to fight this Lord Melanus character and he had a couple guys with him and the fight ended up being a little hairy. Uh, I had to pop a healing potion and run away after I killed him. And if some respawns had happened right here, I would have been in a bad spot. Luckily, I was able to kill him. No issues. Uh, very little issue anyway. And I was able to hand in that quest, which was great. And I was a little far away still from level uh, 9, so I just killed a few mobs before level hit, so hit level 9. Got a pouch on the last kill, which was pretty awesome, but that was it for Oaksha's that week. In the interim, I did make a few potions for a couple characters, but didn't have enough herbs to really do a ton of that. But in the future, I'm really excited about this character being the alchemist and sending a lot of useful potions to a lot of different characters. And then nothing really in the gear front. For Janetti, uh they had a great week, I thought, because uh, instead of staying here in Dunmoreau, I decided, since I'd already done that three times and didn't even get to do Elwyn twice because my rogue died, I decided I would take this person, get mining in Dunmoreau, and then head straight to Ironforge, uh, go uh, get enchanting there, because I wanted this person to be an enchanter, take the tram to Stormwind, and go quest in Elwyn. So I did the same, pretty much the same route I did on my warrior, but it had been a long time since I'd done it, so it felt kind of fresh. And went straight into the mine this time, didn't kind of wait till level eight or anything, just went straight in, felt confident, and everything went totally fine. To kill Goldtooth, no problem, was able to kill him with very little issue. Didn't even have a health potion, felt really confident about it. You know, it wasn't the best fight, but I didn't even hit 50% health, so no, no issues there. Then we went back to town, of course, and leveled up to level 8 there, uh, so a little kind of behind where the warrior was, because he was already leveled up before he went into the cave. Then we trained some really useful skills, Fear and Curse of Agony, which are great skills, got first aid, and then went out east to kill Murlocs, same thing as the warrior, killed a couple bunch of Murlocs, and felt really confident about having Fear and all the dots and stuff. Um, like here in, in this situation, my pet had died, I had two high-level prowls on me. And I was able to fear and then dot him up and reset my pet before he even got back to me. So I was like, felt really good. Fear is a great tool to have. We hit level 9 uh, soon, soon after and went hurt back to the end. And it was a really nice week for Janetti. Uh, in the interim, I did a little bit of smelting of my ores and sending them to various characters who needed them. And then I did a little bit of disenchanting of, of, of things that people were sending to me. Um, the only thing I really got in terms of gear was the robe from my tailor mage, Hamicle. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it for this recap. Uh, please let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If you have any feedback about what, what's actually being covered in the recap or anything like that. And of course, if you like this video, please like it as well. And if you are interested in seeing more of this challenge, please subscribe. I'll be releasing every day and a recap every eight episodes. Uh, so that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.